गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई एम जे वी एन एकता राना एंड वेलकम टू द फर्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज और टूडेज टॉपिक इज ई एम फॉस्टर लेट स्टार्ट विथ ई एम फॉस्टर बायोग्राफी एडवर्ड मॉर्गन फॉस्टर वॉज बॉर्न इन लंडन इन एटीन सेवेंटी नाइन ही वॉज द सन ऑफ एन आर्किटेक्ट His full name was Edward Morgan Foster. He attended Tonbridge School, which he hated. He caricatured what he termed public school behavior in several of his novels. A different atmosphere awaited him at King's College, Cambridge, which he enjoyed thoroughly. After graduation he began to write short stories he lived for a time in italy the scene of two of his early novels first one is where angels fear to tread 1905 and a room with a view 1908 cambridge is the setting for the longest journey 1907 It was in this year that he returned to England and delivered a series of lectures at Working Men's College. His most mature work to date was to appear in 1910 with the publication of Howard's End. <coughs> Sorry. Foster then turned to literary journalism and wrote a play which was never staged. In 1911 he went to India with G Loves Dickinson his mentor at King's College during World War 1st Foster was engaged in civilian war worked in Alexandria he returned to London after the war as a journalist In 1921 he again went to India to work as secretary to the maharaja of diwar state senior he had begun work on a passage to india before this time but on reading his notes in india he was discouraged and put them aside the book was published in 1924 having been written about upon his return to england This was his last novel. It is considered to be his magnum opus, and it won for the author the Femina V. Hurenius and the James Tate Black Memorial Prizes in 1925. In 1927, Foster delivered the William George Clark's lecture at Trinity College, Cambridge, titled "Aspects of the Novel." The lectures were published in book form the same year also in 1927 he became a fellow of cambridge foster's writings after that time has been buried a collection of short poems the eternal moment was published in 1925 avenger harvest 1936 is a collection of reprints of reviews and articles During World War II, he broadcast many essays over the BBC. He has written a patient play, England's Pleasant Land, a film, Diary for Timothy, two biographies, Goldsworthy, Laws Dickinson in 1934, and Marin Thornton in 1956, a libretto for Benjamin Britten's opera Billy Budd with Eric Crozier. and numerous essays in 1953 he published the hill of devi an uneven collection of letters and reminiscences of his experiences in india in 1960 a passage to india was adapted for the stage of santha rama rao after playing in london for a year the play opened on broadway on january 31 1962 and ran for 110 performances Although Foster was delighted with the adaptation most of the American critics felt the play did not measure up to the novel in 1946 
Foster moved to King's College in Cambridge to live there as an honorary fellow as and Mr. Foster's numerous awards included membership in the Order of Companions of Honor, a recognition bestowed in 1953 by Queen Elizabeth II and Foster died in, on June 7, 1970. So let's wind up this lecture here. In our next lecture, we will again continue with E.M. Foster.